There's a new study out by the Outdoor Power Equipment Institute that says about 20% of people have misfueled their small engine and 25% have done so in the past. That's a problem and it can lead to costly repairs for your small engine. As a matter of fact, the EPA has stated that no more than 10% ethanol should go into any of your small power equipment. Everything from your lawn mowers to your chainsaws to your leaf blowers to your snow blowers, even your ice augers should not have 10% ethanol and it could lead to costly repairs for you. There are more types of fuel blends on the market today than ever before and what a lot of people don't realize is that what they can use in their car or truck they shouldn't use in their small equipment use. That's why what you need is a good fuel stabilizer like this Valtech. What it does is it helps prevent ethanol related problems, it'll stabilize your fuel for two years or longer, and it provides corrosion protection. So the next time you go to the gas station to fill up your gas tank, make sure you add a little fuel stabilization in it as well. I'm Larry Ladowski, and that's another tip from Midwest Outdoors. You know, I get asked a lot of times, what is positive ion control? Well, what positive ion control is, is it actually sends an electric pulse down the steel cable. Well, on my optimum downriggers, I have the ability to adjust that from 0.2 to 1.2. So what does that mean? Well, I can adjust the amount of pulse going down the steel cable, and what that does is hits the fish's lateral lines, a lot of times triggering more strikes. So throughout the day, if I'm not getting bit, I'll come back and adjust my positive ion control, and maybe that will get me one or two more bites throughout the day. I'm Mark Ports from Midwest Outdoors. Oh, there we go, not too bad. When approaching new structures, the best thing to think about is where they're at, and that's what everybody wants to know. What I like to do is start off deep, work your way up to the top, and once I find them, you can either throw your anchor down, put on your spot lock, start reeling them in, and fill the live well. I'm Jordan Archie from Grass and Arrows Lodge, and that's your Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week.